Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm bringing back the foundation wear test head to head challenge. So we're going to be testing out two long wear matte foundations and putting them side by side and seeing which one works best. The first foundation that we're testing out today is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. Sorry, that is a mouthful. The other foundation that we're testing out is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I'll give you a quick rundown of both products. I will apply each foundation to one half of my face and then we will do a wear test. And this wear test today lasted about 11 hours, so you will get to see how it lasts through a normal day. If you end up liking this video, then please hit that like button. It helps me out so much getting my videos out to other people as well. If you would, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I'm a small beauty YouTuber from Canada and I just absolutely love makeup products and I love giving reviews and my honest opinion about different products. So let's get right into this head-to-head -head review of these two foundations. I recently had seen a Jackie Aino review on the Bobbi Brown foundation and it piqued my interest and then when I was in Sephora I was reading claims about the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion foundation and realized that the Bobbi Brown foundation and the Laura Mercier foundation seem to claim very similar things. Both of them are supposed to be long wear, the Laura Mercier is supposed to last for 15 hours and then the Bobbi Brown for 16, so very similar as far as that. They're both transfer sweat, humidity, and water resistant. However, the Bobbi Brown foundation does claim to be completely waterproof. The Bobbi Brown foundation is supposed to be full yet natural coverage. It's supposed to help control excess oil and shine as well. It doesn't say it's oil free, but it just says non-acnegenic, so it doesn't cause acne. Great. For the Laura Mercier foundation, it does say it's medium to full coverage, so I guess the Bobbi Brown is claiming a little bit more full coverage. The Laura Mercier is oil free though. The Laura Mercier also says it's supposed to help control oil, also non-comedogenic or ac acnegenic as the Bobbi Brown one said. So both foundations are supposed to be a matte finish. In the Bobbi Brown foundation, there are 30 shades. The shade that I selected for my sample is the shade natural, which is the number four. So it looks like in the Laura Mercier foundation, there are less shades. Um, there's only 20. In that one, I was the shade 3N2, which is the shade Honey. So just doing a shade comparison between some of the foundations that I typically use. So first we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade Light Beige. Next we have the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. And as you can see, this is the darkest shade in the bunch. Next watch is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation, which you can see as it dries down is quite a pink undertoned foundation. This is in the shade 3N2 or Honey. Finally, we have the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation in the shade 4 or Natural. Definitely a little bit more of a yellow undertone. Both of these foundations are also pricey. The Laura Mercier is $59 and the Bobbi Brown Foundation is $55. So very comparable in price. It seems like 2018 is the year of matte full coverage foundation, so I want to see what's out there and see what is the best for me. So with all that being said, let's apply this foundation. Just just so you know, I have moisturized my skin and applied my primers. I used my Benefit Professional on the nose area as I normally do. And then as an additional thing, I did my Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer, which I used in my video from last week where I followed a Sondra Deluxe tutorial. I'm going to be applying both foundations with my trusty Beauty Blender. And I have two samples of foundation. The Sephora employee that helped me was super nice and she wrote down all the information on the card with the numbers one and two on my foundation. So I will do the Laura Mercier on this side of my face. So I'm just gonna dot it on to start and then we will blend. And obviously I'm doing this on half my face. But I will say it does feel very weightless and watery. All right, so let's blend out this foundation. And I'm really trying to push it into my skin and blend it in. It's a pretty good color match for me, so that's good. Coverage is pretty good too. It almost kind of dried down to like a powdery-ish finish. Just doing a little bit of spot concealing. It definitely is a, a matte finish. All right, so we have applied our Laura Mercier foundation on this side and I'm ready for my Bobbi Brown foundation on this side. We're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna use the other side of my beauty blender here and apply it as the same way where I dot it on my face. This one definitely feels a bit thicker, I would say, as compared to the Laura Mercier, which did feel quite weightless. But we'll see how it feels once we blend it out. 
I don't think I put quite as much on, especially on my forehead area. There's definitely a scent. No, it's perfumey. So if you do not like fragrances, then this one is definitely not for you. Just going in with a little bit of spot concealing here and I'm just gonna blend this up. It looks like this is also a good color match for me and with them together, they both look like good matches. So it doesn't look like I have two totally different foundations on my face, which is great because I was planning on going out today. <laughs> So just as these foundations are drying down, I just want to say that while applying, I did notice a couple things. I would say the Laura Mercier foundation dried down a little bit faster and it dries to a almost like powdery finish, which is fine. It looks a little bit more like you have makeup. I would say the Bobbi Brown foundation kind of sinks into the skin a little bit better and gives you more of a natural finish. The Laura Mercier is medium to full. I had to build it up a little bit more to get the coverage that I wanted on this side. But then the Bobbi Brown foundation I found was very full coverage very quickly. And as it applied, it's almost a little bit tacky to the touch. But it is drying down now and it doesn't feel as tacky now. So just zooming you guys in so you can see. So this is the Laura Mercier side and this is the Bobbi Brown side. Both sides gave the coverage they said they would, so I am not disappointed about that. I think I prefer the natural matte finish of the Bobbi Brown side as opposed to the matte finish of the Laura Mercier side just because it looks a little bit more powdery and more like makeup. This looks a little bit more natural to me. Even though it does look a little bit more like I have more makeup on on this side, it still didn't really cover this mark right here. This one is supposed to be full coverage and I think it did give me that coverage right away and I didn't have to build it up as much. So interested to see how these both hold up through the day and also how my makeup applies over top. So I will be right back with my makeup applied. All right guys, so I'm back. Makeup is all applied. And what I can say is both foundations definitely have good coverage. Makeup applied well over top of both sides. However, I have noticed around my nose area on the Laura Mercier side, it looks a little bit cakey and a little bit dry. I have combo skin and it's not even that dry. The Bobbi Brown side looks a little bit better and a little bit more natural. And I like that my skin has a little bit of a satiny finish. I don't know if you can catch it on camera. I mean, I do have highlight on, but it just looks a little bit more natural. This side looks a little bit more like makeup-y and I don't even know if that's a word and just a little bit drier. I did not use any setting powder today. I normally use my Maybelline Fit Me powder on my forehead, nose, and around the mouth area. Today I didn't do that. The only thing I did set was my under eye with my RCMA no color powder. So I did that, but I did not bring it down or go over the foundation at all. It's 1.40 right now, so we're gonna start this wear test right now. I'll be back at the end of the day and we'll see how this goes. Hey guys, so we are back for our final and only check-in today for our foundation wear test with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion foundation on this side and the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear foundation on this side of my face. Time now is 11.56 p.m. so it is the end of the day. I am ready for bed and I do have work in the morning so I really need to get going. So I will say um, both foundations aren't doing terrible but they definitely are not holding up to their claim of 15 and 16 hour wears. Most of my foundation under my nose has worn off and even on the tip of my nose even on both sides it has pretty much gone. I will say the Laura Mercier side is a little bit more caked up and really clinging to the dry patches. I kind of look like a crocodile I find on my nose area, especially on this side. As far as my blush and bronzer go, both stayed on pretty well. I think the Laura Mercier foundation looks a little bit worse in my smile lines. It looks a little bit more caked up and I find it also oxidized a little bit more as we went through the day. When it first dried down, this side looked pretty much the same as this side maybe a little bit darker on this side, but I feel like now it looks like totally different, which is kind of disheartening because I went out today and no one said anything. Well, I like how the Bobbi Brown foundation looked and it looked a little bit more natural and less cakey and makeup-y. The coverage is kind of worn off, uh, especially around the nose area underneath the nose. And like even on my cheek, there's patches where it's kind of wiped away and I don't I don't like that at all. Let me zoom you back out to give you my final thoughts. Final thoughts guys, I don't think either foundation really lived up to its claims. The Laura Mercier I wasn't crazy about from the start because it looked a little bit more cakey and a little bit more heavy on the face. The Bobbi Brown foundation on the other hand did have the coverage that I wanted and 
it did look very natural, but it didn't wear as well as I was hoping. I really was hoping that it was gonna wear really well since they were saying it was 16 hour wear and we only wore it for about 11 hours. They're definitely not the best long wearing foundations that I have tried. That being said, both foundations are nice. They're just not the perfect ones for me. And I always recommend going to Sephora and grabbing a sample because it's free and it's a great idea just to test out a foundation, make sure it doesn't break you out, make sure that it lasts and works well with your skin. That's pretty much it for me. I hope you enjoyed this wear test and review. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and I hope I see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.